Hi friends, how are you all if you have not subscribed to this channel, please be sure to do so. Clicking on the bell icon next to it, will give you a notification. You will know when the video is uploaded into the channel. Please share this with your friends and all those whose lives you want to shine. Now let's go into the story. A long time ago there was an innocent couple in a village. Among them, husband is a farmer who cultivates and brings crop to home, while wife living satisfied with what her husband had brought. One day while her husband was coming from the farm, he saw a man in a very expensive dress, stepped down from a cart walking towards a tree. There he came back after completing his schedule and boarded the cart and left. At the tree, however, the farmer saw an object slipping from the man's clothes and falling down. As he is looking from a distance far, though he tried to tell him about it, but it was not heard by the landlord and he has gone. Well, the farmer went there to see what he had dropped and he saw a small strange object there. In it, a man like himself, looking at him, appeared in it. He was amazed. Because he had never seen such an object. It was a mirror. He had never seen a mirror. He was so proud of that object and looked at that object over and over again. He brought the mirror very carefully and slowly put it in a box in his house. He did not tell his wife that he had brought such an object or that he had hidden it in a box like this. But before leaving for the day's farm, he carefully watched the time when his wife is away, then takes the object out of the box and looks at his reflection in it and then slowly hides it and goes for his work. The same happens again in the evening. Carefully looks at the object and will put it in the box. She sensed that something is happening. She noticed that her husband was hiding something very important that he didn't want to reveal. Suspicion and curiosity about the subject grew day by day in her. One day she saw her husband going out to the farm and she opened the box door after he was left. Suddenly the object fell out while pulling out all the clothes. A female was seen looking at her. Her husband looking at this lady all the time, that thought made her panic. There is no end to the grief of her. She did not have her meal. Nothing was prepared for the evening. When her husband came, she started crying loudly saying that, you are not loving me, your mind was lost on someone. Thus began the war. Problems started in the happy family. Friends, we carry many opinions in our life from the time we are in the mother's womb until today. When we are in the womb, the mutual affectionate relationship between the parents, the words they speak and the mother's every thought, creates certain impressions within us. The process of coming out of the womb creates certain opinions in us. For the first six hours or so after entering this world from the mother's womb, the comments made by everyone there creates certain impressions within us, six months to six years, the social conditions and different situations happen to us, creates certain impressions within us. From six years to till now many of the experiences we have had led us to form some definite opinions and start making decisions from them. Opinions creates the boundaries, the entire mind is created by opinions. When we look at our lives, we know how bad decisions and misconceptions can affect our lives. They make the whole life hell. We make our lives hell by making wrong decisions about the whole world under the guise of wrong opinion. 
half a glass of water means that a person with a positive attitude says a glass of water with half full and that a person with a negative attitude says a glass of water with half empty. Both opinions are correct but their lives are affected by their attitudes. These views stand as a barrier to our experience of the other person as he is. Whether it is seen personally or socially, opinions affects our lives. The whole society is flawed because we are looking from the opinions that we form about an individual's color, race, caste and even religion. One who seeks true spiritual truth, one who seeks growth in life finds that these views control his life. And he can get out of them by finding bad opinions in him with daily constant contemplation which paves all the avenues necessary for growth in his life.